Hi, this is Denver Riddle and your host from Color Grading Central. This video tutorial is one of the most important tutorials in my training series on color grading in Final Cut Pro 10. This is because I will be covering the order of operation workflow or the steps to take that will give organization and efficiency to your color grading. So please, please take careful note and this tutorial will be one of the most beneficial. So here's the order of operation workflow that will form the foundation for our corrections from here. This tutorial will be an overview and you can see how we can apply these steps in a real world correction. We have three stages in our order of operation workflow. Our correction stage, looks building stage, and secondary isolation stage. There are some specific cases where we depart slightly from this order, but for the most part, we'll stick to this order. So here in the timeline, I have two uncorrected examples. I'll perform the first step of correction in our order of operation by setting the focus exposure, setting the proper contrast, and color balancing. I'll then correct the next shot, correcting exposure, contrast, and color balancing. Now I'll match these two shots together with shot to shot matching. We're almost there. Okay, now they're matched. Now, let me be very clear on a very important concept. We should perform our correction first in correction one and not begin with creating our look in the same correction of correction one. The reason for this is we'll end up having a lot of difficulty in trying to do shot to shot matching later. So rather, it is much easier to do our correction and shot to shot matching, then build the look in correction two and apply the look as a filter on top of our corrected and matched shots. Believe me, this is much easier and more intuitive grading. Okay, with that out of the way, let's build a look based on either a mood, time of day, location, a popular look, or a stylized look. In the interest of time, I'll apply one of my free luster grade presets to each of these two shots and to correction two as sort of a filter effect. And you'll notice with the look applied that these two shots match up. I'll also point out that the grade preset you see here is available as a free download by clicking on the link below. Moving on to our last stage of secondary isolation, we'll apply some focusing by targeting our corrections to a specific part of the image. I'll apply some focus to our talent to help draw our eyes in. I'll do this with an isolated shape. And then I'll boost the brightness, exposure, and saturation inside the shape and do the opposite on the outside of the shape. I'm going to apply this to both of them, so just bear with me. I'll apply the shape to our talent, which is our focus, making sure we have enough softening. And then I'll repeat the procedure with the exposure, contrast, and saturation. Now let me show you the before and after with the focus applied. Makes a big difference, doesn't it? And now, let me finish up by showing you the entire before and after of our grade. Wow, doesn't that just blow your mind? Cause it blew my mind. Color grading can be very powerful when you apply the techniques that I share here in the order of operation workflow. So I hope that you enjoy my color grading tutorials and that you ask questions. Happy grading.